These days, everybody talks about passive and active solar heating for greenhouses. Most use a solar greenhouse design, north wall insulated, and charge a seasonal thermal battery to heat the greenhouse with internal heat or external evacuated solar tubes. This works, but only achieves slightly above freezing in the winter. There is another option, one that doesn't require an expensive excavator, can be added to most any existing greenhouse, isn't weather sunshine dependent, and provides free heat 24-7 all winter long. Sound impossible? Stay tuned. Simple Tech, practical, effective technology. I made this channel to experiment with simple technology for agriculture and energy. Clicking the subscribe button tells YouTube's algorithm you want to see more videos like this. Click the subscribe button now. So I came across this idea of compost heating, basically using the heat from decomposing plant material to heat your greenhouse in the winter. The modern science of compost heating was originated by a French man named Jean Pain. There's links below to his research. It's extraordinary. Jean Pain took brush and made wood chips from it. He then created large 50 yard piles, ran plastic tubing throughout those piles and achieved piped heated water 24 seven up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit or more for periods of seven to 10 months from just one pile. The downside is it takes two to three days labor to create one of these Jean Pain compost heating piles. But the upside is a year later, you have over 30 yards, the volume shrinks as it heats, of valuable compost, literally 500 plus 40 liter bags of compost to sell, which can offset the labor cost and even make the heating project profitable. Also worth noting, when running a commercial greenhouse, making your own compost, a material you control production of from start to finish, is a huge advantage for the entire operation. A fertilizer far better than any corporate chemicals for your plants. Now compost heating gets better. Wood chips are great, but you can make a big steaming pile substituting hay for the wood chips and achieve similar results. Meaning you can heat your greenhouse simply by cutting and collecting nothing more than long grass. Hey. The implications for northern communities are enormous. Northern communities experience extreme cold in the winter and two factors limit greenhouse use, heating and lack of light. With usable sunlight often down to four hours or less in the winter, many northern communities are forced to truck in fresh produce. Using wood chips and hay, something that can be harvested locally around most northern communities, changes everything. Now a greenhouse can heat itself all winter with local materials. That leaves only electrical power for additional light to help the plants grow. Power for supplemental LED lighting to lengthen the growing day in winter can be generated from windmills with no expensive batteries or energy storage needed. Building the pile is easy, but some steps must be taken in its construction to ensure it provides enough heat to last the entire winter. I'll show how to build a Jean Pay pile in the future with a video when I construct mine. For now, just check out the links below. Compost heating isn't just cheaper. Active solar heating needs multiple evacuated tube arrays at $1,000 plus each, and both active and passive solar heating need an excavator to dig and install the thermal battery, which is a hugely expensive endeavor. Compost heating provides heat 24 seven all winter long with no thermal battery needed and can be easily added to existing greenhouses with little modification. Does it work in an urban setting? No, but real commercial food production should be done just outside of the city where the land and property taxes are cheaper and it's properly zoned. Please comment your thoughts below. I'd love to hear your ideas on this. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for future updates. Don't just hit the subscribe button. Also hit the little bell icon that exists beside the subscribe button. That bell tells YouTube these are the kind of videos you want to see more of and for YouTube to suggest more on this topic for you. Please share this video and have a great day.